All right, so here we are with a uh, test run of our intern project. This is a demonstration board for boost and butt converters. And we've, uh, we've got it powered by the CircuitNote 508 here that's in development. Uh, this is a 75 watt power supply that is controlled by a Raspberry Pi uh, or knobs for convenience. Um, we're monitoring the input voltage, about 1.7 volts here. The output voltage, we are boosting just a little bit from uh, 1.77 to 1.92 volts. And uh, we are using the Scopies, the M2K's uh, trigger input uh, on the clock signal. And we're triggering both the uh, logic analyzer and the analog channels on the trigger input. So I'm not sure whether this is true cross-triggering or not. So that's uh, one question that we have. So let's... Um, Let's make things a little more interesting. So you'll notice that we are operating at a, at a fairly low duty cycle. Uh, I suppose we could pull up the measurements here, but we'll just guesstimate that it's uh, you know 10 or 15 percent. And if we increase that duty cycle, let's see if we can get the meter visible here. We notice that we boost from 1.77 on up to three, four, and and if you look at those current waveforms, that's really neat. We can watch it go from a discontinuous conduction mode where the current goes up, 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 down, 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 back to zero. And we can watch it go up further and further until we finally hit continuous conduction mode. Okay, or we can also demonstrate the effect of output loading. So if I add a an additional 50 ohms on the output, then we see that our average current, our average DC current jumps up and we enter continuous conduction mode. And the neat thing about continuous conduction mode is um, the output loading doesn't make a difference in, in theory. So I could load this more and more and more and my output would stay at 2.4 volts. Okay, so let's deload it a little bit. And uh, let's demonstrate a nice feature of the CN508. So if we look at this, it's a little hard to see, but I'll read the numbers to you here. So I've got the DAC output on this set to a digital code of 12,000, which corresponds roughly to 5 volts. And if I increase my input voltage up to 2.2, you know, hope we can see that there, 3 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts, and my output voltage is rising in concert. And I don't know if you can hear that. I can actually hear this. But if I get up, if I try to go any higher than 5 volts, okay, the CN508 measures the potentiometer position at 50%, which corresponds to, oh, geez, I guess about 5 volts. But my actual output voltage is limited to 5 volts. So for an experiment like this, it's kind of important because um, we can actually get into trouble. We can set this thing so that it boosts too high or... Uh, and things of that nature and things can get a little bit hot. So when you're setting up an experiment like this, you can, in software, set a hard limit that you can't exceed if, uh, even if you are a little bit um, brazen with the knob here. So let's see what else we can do here. Um, let's see if we can get one more experiment in, and that will be to try and saturate the inductor. And so we'll start going down a little bit further again and let's see so we are let's increase our duty cycle higher and higher and actually let's reduce our frequency so we only get one peak on the screen here and then let's go duty cycle higher 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 oh no that's no good we may have to save that for another day but you get the idea we can play around with this with this boost converter and really get in there and diddle all the knobs that you couldn't get to otherwise if this was all trapped in a little chip. I guess we can demonstrate one more thing. So we're operating in duty cycle mode right now, but we also have the ability to put a hard limit on the maximum current. And that's this knob here. So if I go down, oh, there we go. So this is my maximum inductor current limited at each and every clock cycle. And I can walk this up and down. So if I'm controlling duty cycle, I can set the peak current. And, uh, and it turns out we can reuse this function in current mode control as well. So for a current mode controller, that's actually the, the parameter that we'd like to control. All right.